Hello, welcome. My name is Midnight Kitten and I create VTubing related tutorials. When I first started looking into VTubing, I knew some of the first things that I wanted on my avatar were cat ears, which Vroid already has readily available, a cat tail, and a collar. Lucky for me, Aragama Witch had created a lovely tutorial about how to add a tail to your avatar. Using the same method, I will teach you how to create a simple collar for your avatar. Though daunting at first, I highly recommend you try out the Unity portion at the end of the video as it only takes a few simple steps. If you'd like to skip ahead to a portion of the video, check the description box for timestamps. Also, please watch the video with subtitles as any confusion brought to my attention dealing with updates to the programs will be addressed here. Let's begin! First, we need to remove your avatar's hair visibility to have easy access to her neck. Then we can add a freehand group, which I'll rename to Collar. Pull a mesh so it is flush around her neck. Don't forget the front and back sides. Make sure you add or remove mirroring wherever appropriate. Now we can draw the hair strand for the collar. Press the mouse cursor labeled select. On the right, change the cross section to flat and the curve into a straight line as shown. Adjust the collar to its proper position and hit Ctrl Z to undo any mishaps. Now I will reduce the width scale to a more preferable size. Offset the choker. Once everything looks good, we will add a hair material by duplicating the current one. You'll see it appear at the bottom of the materials. I'll change the base colors so that it can be easily identified. Go to the textures at the very bottom should be your new hair texture with the base color. Join the discord for some free choker patterns if you're interested. Adjust the texture parameters until it looks right. Remember, you can use decimal points. Now to create a crystal pendant, add a new freehand group. We adjust the mesh so that it lays flat against her skin. Then draw a small strand coming from the necklace. The cross section should be on diamond. Adjust the curve into a crystal shape as demonstrated, as well as the width and thickness. Duplicate texture as we did previously. For the texture, you can create one on your own or download one from the Discord. Make one layer be a plain white layer then import the crystal texture layer above it. Adjust the base color, shade color, highlight, outline, and texture parameters. Click on the layer to change the opacity. Clone the crystal freehand group, and now we can create a flat pendant.
Draw a flat pendant near her necklace. Import your desired pendant image. Adjust the width and offset so that it so that the pendant fits on the, sta the strand. Now we will add bones to all of the jewelry and test in camera slash export. Adjust the sliders accordingly. Now you're ready to export. Click export on the left. On the right you'll see material reduction. Uncheck enable hair combination. Then you can export your VRM file. Finally we'll be attaching these pendants and collar to the neck. Download Unity and the Unity packages, VRM importer, and bone weight transfer. Link in the description. Import the Unity packages by right clicking inside the asset folder. Import your VRM file into Unity. Notice the hair bones are attached to the head bone at the moment, and move with it. Open the prefab by right-clicking on the bone and hitting Open Prefab. First, we need to identify each hair bone. Once you've identified them, I suggest renaming them accordingly. Drag the hair bones to the neck. For the bone weight transfer, you'll notice it's not in English, but essentially what you want is the object you'll be moving on top, followed by the bone the object is currently attached to, in this case the head, and finally the bone that it's being moved to, or the neck. I remember this as object from to. Next we need to transfer the corresponding hairs. These are your textures. We'll check that everything was transferred properly by moving her head. Choose which jewelry you want to be visible. Click materials in the assets folder. Change rendering types to transparent. Click and move this slider to the left to make it invisible. Export your avatar by going to the VRM exporter. Now we're ready to import the VRM file in VC Face.
Yay, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.